Every day starts today, supposedly. That's what they say. Uh, Brad Underwood with some revealing quotes on the state of Illinois practices that came to light last night in some uh, some articles. And I saw this tweet from a video shared from uh, our old pals at WCIA 3 Cart, News Channel 3 in mm. Champaign. This is from Tristan Thomas, who says, uh, well, not says, he literally has a video of Brad Underwood saying this. Uh, Brad says, we finally got really competitive. And that he loves the increased aggression from his team since their loss to Ole Miss in the exhibition game leading up to the season opener tonight. Uh, there's more great quotes here. He praised Kylan Boswell's defense. Uh, he said Thomas Lava Visich was nervous in his first appearance for Illinois basketball, and he's just shaking off some nerves. He also said he was disappointed that Illinois hasn't had a fight yet in practice and that that's probably pretty rare in today's world. So this is Brad Underwood at his finest, but uh, the big takeaway for me, praising his team's competitive energy, finally getting really competitive days leading up to the first game of the season, uh, presumably saying they haven't been that competitive back before the Ole Miss exhibition and leading up to that. Do you like this quote? Do you think it's real? I actually think it's real, and I honestly didn't expect to come with this take when we first, when I first saw this article and first saw this quote, because I do think there is a little bit of fatigue competitive-wise when you're just going up against the same team, the same guys, like all summer, right? And even in a team setting, like the great teams are extremely competitive, but also at the same time, those are your teammates, you know what I'm saying? So I think there is some truth to this being that, you know, Maybe it is like the competitive is kind of ramping up or maybe that Ole Miss butt whooping triggered a little bit more competitiveness. Now, do you want that to exactly happen? No. But if you could choose an outcome that comes from a beat down like that, I think this would be the outcome. So I actually do believe Brad where he's coming from um, on this. And and to his other points, I kind of buy those as well. Like, you know, actually, I don't buy the Tomislav one because there's one thing I know about overseas basketball Overseas basketball fans are – you think college basketball fans are crazy? You think Illinois fans are crazy? You don't want to see the fans of the teams that Thomas Slav was playing in. So that's the only one I don't buy. But I do buy the competitive uh, comment. Yeah. Yeah, I – look, Brad's always honest. I'm never really going to come on here and listen to something Brad Underwood says at a press conference and be like, that's not accurate because I mostly he speaks from the heart and is honest. So I buy this. I just don't buy that it's necessarily a great sign. Like, we finally got competitive. Don't you want to hear, like, dudes are competitive the moment they stepped in the floor? Yeah. Like, why yeah, this, this team has to learn to compete? Yeah. Also, like, can we learn defense before competing? <laughs> I, I will, like competition is like part of defense right it's like we're gonna make you fight for everything you earn against us they didn't do that against Ole Miss it was layup lines and wide open threes so I this this to me is Brad pretty pointedly accurately in my opinion criticizing some effort stuff from his guys and saying like it's made big strides we haven't seen it we're not able to watch every practice so you know, we kind of just got to take Brad at his word that the competitive energy has really raised. But uh, it, it would scare me as an Illinois fan a little bit of like, yeah, like the, our guys just didn't come naturally competitively great. Like we, we had to teach Thomas Lob and Kasparis and Will Riley how to compete. And it's true. Like they are young. That part of this comes with with youth. Right. But like don't feel like this is a great quote for like where Illinois basketball is headed necessarily, you know? Yeah. And, and, and to me, oversight of it, or like just the, the general, like very wide, simple overview is there's like, I feel like competing falls into a category of things you don't want to have to teach with your team. Like if you're a coach or if you're a good team, like your team should compete no matter what you're going to miss shots. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make defensive mistakes. Maybe you lack shooting. Maybe you lack uh, finishing at the rim abilities. Great teams never question or lack competing. So that does eh, – I don't like that necessarily. But I'm, I'm choosing to look at my Legends Cup half full on this one with this Brad quote. Yeah, I that's the right interpretation, I think. This was but, piling but, away deep in the back of my mind. But, like, why not just compete? Just compete. 
be, yeah. be competitive. You know, would, would you say that you were a guy who was wired to just compete naturally, or did you have to learn how to compete? No, I, I was wired to compete. You were? Yeah. At sports, like or just like in general at basketball, yeah. Really? Yeah. Because okay. I like talk. Because I like talking. Bleep. Well, I'm sure. So does Will Riley. So does Kasparis. Yeah, but I didn't like it. But like the worst thing that could ever happen to me was just me getting my lunch taken in, in like in terms like I couldn't stand that. Yeah. You're not buying it. <laughs> no, I just I think like maybe one of the most dangerous things in college basketball are guys who think they are competing that aren't wired to compete. It's crazy. You're using me as an example here. I'm I'm just proposing maybe this team has some guys that think they're really competing, but there's a there's a difference between like Trent Frazier competing, Terrence Shannon competing, and like fake competing, right? Like I think Jay. Oh, oh Nepp, yeah, there's there's I definitely think, fake. There's fake competing is a thing. I think Jay Nepps thought he was competing. Was Scott Clark a competitor? I don't know. I don't Matthew, know. Was Matthew Meyer a competitor? No, Ma- Matthew Meyer was like, I don't care. <laughs> at all. I don't think there's any guys on this team that have that, but I do think there's a lot of guys that like feel they're really competing, but may not be, maybe have some bad habits, some youthful habits, you know? I will say this though. It is something in, in the case that you just brought forward. It's kind of like um, when like, oh, you think you're playing hard, but you really don't even know what playing hard is. Yeah. That could be the case too. Like these guys think they're competing, but Brad knows. Like he's seen competitors. Like this isn't, this isn't competing. You think you're competing, you're not competing though. Yeah, they're young. I don't think anyone on this Illinois team is like intentionally not competitive. But it it is what I like. I do think this is a real thing. Not to use you as an example because I I didn't watch you when you were in college, so I have no idea what you were actually like as a player. But like, if there are guys who are like, oh, I am such a competitor that just aren't that that's a problem right like that was kind of the aj hogard thing and i don't know this this team could in theory have some of those guys who are 18 year old kids who think they're really going hard that maybe just aren't you know first day at college hoops and you're hitting with aj hogard in illinois videos can you relax it is coming to a point here where i it's abundantly clear to me the fate of this illinois team is one of brad underwood's like biggest seasons yet you know what i mean like if illinois is really good this is going to be the best coaching job of brad's career yeah i think well uh, well yeah yeah i guess i could say that yeah he, he has to get these guys into something they haven't been just when they walked in the gym very quickly doesn't that, he do that with every team he has like kind of <laughs> last year's team i think like i mean he well, did last, a job because yeah, last like, year they had a little bit of like continuity you know what i'm saying like it was second and, year shannon coleman top, like there was continuity but like with the age i mean Dema- yeah. there, who's the damask on this team like who's the guy that is playing his fifth year of college basketball is 23 i'm rick house benjamin it's ben okay also isn't a vicious like 27 <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's true good point i'm so happy games are here me too This video is brought to you by MyBookie, the presenting sponsor of all things Sleepers Media and our favorite sports book on the planet. Cart, why do you love MyBookie? Because they make it easy to play your way and get paid. Greg, I'm a simple man at heart, and MyBookie makes it very, very easy for me to place all types of bets on all sporting events, player props, whatever you need. MyBookie has it. If you ever found yourself having having that little thought bubble above your head, I want to bet like Sleepers Media, look no further. It's with MyBookie, and they have a massive insane deposit bonus right now available tell the folks about that gregory promo code sleepers link in the description of every video on the channel with promo code sleepers as a first time depositor you can double your first deposit by creating an account with my bookie entering the promo code if you put a hundred dollars in you'll end up with two hundred dollars in funds that's very exciting for people that want to win bets just like us go to my bookie use promo code sleepers to take advantage today